Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All kinds of projects going on here at the homestead these days. Today's video is going to be on this JJN Solar 200 watt bifacial uh, solar panel. I bought this the other day and have been testing it in various weather conditions, cloudiness and all that. i uh, very impressed with its performance so far. So today I'm going to hook up some instrumentation to it. We're going to do a real world test on this affordable bifacial panel. So let's get right into it. I'm going to talk about the bifacial benefits before I get into the testing. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware of bifacial panels or don't know a lot of information about bifacials, they're basically a standard solar panel. This one's actually a 10 bus bar panel, so it's very efficient, low light conditions for my field testing. And they come with a transparent back sheet instead of a white or a dark colored back sheet. So you pick up extra reflected light through the back of the panel when you have it on a light colored background. Now, even on a dark background, uh, this one's been performing better than a standard back sheet panel. So if you put a white surface behind it, reflective surface such as gravels, or if you're going to sheet metal roof, something like that, something that's got a lighter color, you get extra, extra power coming in from the back of the cells. So you're getting power from both sides of the panel, which is a benefit. So you get extra generation in the same footprint of a standard panel. And the cost on these has come down significantly over the last couple of years. Now they're at a price point, I feel comfortable investing into them. And most manufacturers claim on these bifacial panels, you can get up to you know, 30, 40, 50% more with a reflective surface on the back compared to a standard back sheet panel. Well, I've been running this one against some standard white colored back sheet uh, panels, 200 watt panels compared to this one. Well, so far this has been delivering in real world conditions about 20% to 25% more power uh, side by side. So I'm gonna show you what this thing makes today. I got the panel hooked up to my little energy meter and got it lined up the best I can with the sun angle. A little bit past solar noon, but I just, just put it in the first spot to test it, see what we, uh, what we come up with. So go to the little energy meter and see what kind of power it's making. It's kind of bright out here, so I hope you can see the little, little energy meter. 159, 160 watts coming out of the panel. 7.3 amps, excuse me, 7.26 amps, 21 volts coming out of it. So not doing too bad considering it is 99 degrees outside. The panel is heat. Sorry for the delay. Uh, my camera shut down, it was so hot. So that last little clip you just saw, yeah, it was so hot the, the camera shut down. So that's how hot it is. And that panel's still performing. It's doing better than my, than my hand was and my Axitex and everything else I got around here. So it is thumping out some juice. I hope you can see that. So I put a little white reflective under it this time. You know, it's hotter than it was a few minutes ago after before the camera cooled down. So I'm trying to get some little reflection up underneath there. Oh, 165, 166. So see the reflection. I'll pull the reflection away. See it drop back down. And I'm going to put the reflection back under it right there. Check it out. Coming back up. That is awesome. Awesome for a budget bifacial panel. Very nice. Let me see if I can get it a little bit better. I've adjusted the angle a little bit. It's even hotter now. It is 101 degrees. So, and of course, the 10 or 15 minutes has got that much hotter, but look, 166, 100 plus degree weather on a cheap bifacial panel with no reflection under it right now, just a little bit of soil reflection. So I'll try it one more time with the white reflection, see if we can make it pop 170. For full transparency, what I'm powering with the JJM panel, is this is a little boost controller right here, boost charge controller. I had a video on it uh, a while back. I'll put a link in the description for that video in case you're interested in seeing this thing on a different setup. This works great for little e-scooters and e-bikes too. It's just a little battle tank. This thing is tough as nails. It doesn't get hot out here. I mean, it's cool to the touch and it's over 100 degrees outside. Very, very efficient for what it is. So I have a link to this plus the panel in the video description as well. White reflective back on the side of it. And I said, this is just catching a corner of it. Look at that. Popping 171, 172 in 100 plus degree weather. Wow. And so we got black background on one side of it too so you get a good reflective surface this thing will be a real performer let me give you a quick partial shade test on it too to see how how quick it drops off for different spots of shading so there throw a little shading on it so now let's see what it's making still making 77 watts with uh you know half of it shaded so yeah pleased with this one's performance especially considering the price what i paid for it I had a coupon code on today's only $145. And uh, 
I think they're gonna have probably a prime sale, so I'm probably gonna be fetching up a bunch more of these for my new powerhouse build and all that, because I told you I was gonna be using bifacials. So I'm thinking definitely going with these smaller 200 watt panels. You know, they're a little bit more cost per per watt as far as you know what you're getting out of it, but they're small, you get free shipping. Another benefit about these smaller panels too, if you got a whole stack of 200s or 100s or whatever, yeah, you gotta, you know, like I said, you gotta pay more for them. But if one, if a limb comes down or, you know, some random hooligan shoots with the BB gun or something, you're only going to be down 200 watts if you lose a panel. Just lose a smaller percentage instead of going with a big, you know, 400s and you lose one of them, you know, and you're down quite a bit more. So that's another, another plus for small panels, even if they are a little bit more expensive. Most of the big panels, 400 watt, 500 watt panels, you got to buy 10 at a time or whatever, get, or pay the pallet shipping all that different stuff, higher risk of damage. Uh, this one was packaged well in the box, had a lot of foam and stuff on it, so I'm happy the way they package it. So, so far on this panel, I can highly recommend it. I'll be doing all kinds of different tests with it. I'll be doing vertical orientations in different different cardinal directions and things. And that's what I'm trying, I'm gonna do eventually is like a bifacial fence with these, sitting, sitting vertical and things like that. So, you know, for a budget panel, it's doing good. I'm pleased with it. Uh, this one's gonna go right there, and then I'm gonna order a bunch more here in the next few days. So, you know, if you're wondering about this panel, I hope this video helps you out. Just a, a real world test of a JJN Solar Tournament Bifacial. I like it so far. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Be safe.